Hi, my name's Paul Doolin, and I'm the mental performance coach here at Bishopsgate Golf Academy. So I get asked a lot from, from the junior golfers here about uh, maintaining their, their, their energy and their focus on the golf course because uh, typically around hole 12 or 13, a lot of them will say they just, you know, they just started making the wrong decisions, they couldn't think as clearly, they started to lose energy. So there's a lot of different factors in, in maintaining energy. So obviously off the course habits, things like sleep, diet, nutrition, exercise, those things are all really important in terms of being able to stay as energetic as you can on, on the golf course. But on the, when you're on the golf course, uh, it's important to also make sure you're, you're hydrating correctly and, and eating the right quantities of the right things, which I won't get into the details here. Uh, but there's another thing in, in terms of how people process information on the golf course. In between shots is, is a really important time for the golfer. The, the maj vast majority of golf, a round of golf, you know, let's say it's four and a half hours, that time is, you know, probably the, the majority of the time that we are on the golf course for is, is between shots versus actually doing the shot itself or, or preparing for the shot. So that time is typically not spent wisely by, by players. So some of the things people will end up doing is thinking about, you know, what's, what's coming up, things that have just happened on the golf course, um, being a, really emotional about just something that has just happened, such as a bad shot or even a good shot, and, and not understanding how to maintain healthy energy levels on the golf course. So one of the, the best things that we can do is actually a physical thing where when you're walking down the down the far the fairways we keep our eyes up on the horizon um, what that does is it, it helps to keep us and, and keep your attention on the environment when you're when you're walking down the fairway or when you're you know standing on the tee waiting for your turn when you keep your eyes up it really helps to, to uh, eliminate the tendency to think about things and it's a, it's it's really interesting that just by that one thing and keeping your attention ex external to you, keep your attention on your environment. I'm looking at some trees right now as I do this and it's getting a little harder for me to actually think about what I want to say. So when, when we do that, it, it really helps eliminate the tendency to do the opposite, which is to look down and to start talking to ourselves about what just happened or what might happen whether we're you know worried about the next hole because it's a tough one or the 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 bogey we just made because of a, you know a bad shot or something like that minimizing the amount of time we spend thinking about things that are about to happen or things that have happened uh, really can can help maintain your energy level because thinking and and processing emotions on the golf course really consumes a massive amount of energy i uh, hope that helps